I'm going to begin giving you my pick for the best value laptop. Um, so this is going to be something six to seven hundred dollars. Still great performance. Going to be a good laptop, but doesn't break the budget. So my pick for this is the Acer Aspire 5 laptop. Uh, information here on the back gives you a little more detail to it. It is the um, uses an 11th gen i5 processor, has the full HD IPS display, a fingerprint reader, a 256 gig SSD, 8 gigs of memory, and 8 plus hours of battery life. Now the reason I uh, like this one and I go with this one, a um, couple of things, uh, I'll get into the specs in just a second, but on the design, um, you get the full uh, keyboard, so it has the little number pad um, over here. So you get a full number pad, and you get um, the, the arrows. So you get a, this full keyboard, um, which is really nice um, on a lower cost laptop, uh, especially if it's going to be a, a daily use thing, and, and you like using the number pad. That's going to be nice. Um, fingerprint reader, not needed, but an easy way to access your login on it, and things like that. So overall, I like it. Um, pretty good. It's of good build quality, which we'll look at in just a second as well. And then I do like that it comes with the 256 gig SSD. So an SSD drive is going to be a much faster computer, give you a lot of more performance. A lot of laptops are including that these days, um, but that's going to be um, a big key. If you need more storage, you're probably going to be looking at a more expensive laptop anyways, but this is a plenty of storage for um, you know, day-to-day -day use. The 8 gigs of RAM, 12 or 16 gigs would be better, but again, this is the value build, not the um, ultimate build. So let's go ahead and get this out of the box and take a look at it here. Uh, this is off of Amazon, so I'll put the link in the description below, um, but you should easily be able to get this um, uh, for under $700 and um, take a look at that uh, in the video description. All right, so it comes in a just pretty simple cardboard box. We're not expecting anything too fancy here um, for what we're paying for it. Um, over here, we're gonna have our charger, wall cable, and the battery, or the, battery, <laughs> the, the charging block itself, uh, which is pretty tiny. Um, so this is fine, again, for um, if you're looking for something mobile that you can bring with you. Um, extra screws, I think that's, I'm guessing that's if you replace the hard drive. Or maybe add, might have room to add a second hard drive. All right, let's go ahead and pull out the laptop itself. And then also in the box, just a couple of quick getting started guides. Um, so you can, it gives you the overview of all that. And that's pretty much it. Just some other things, uh, information pieces in there. The setup guide's pretty simple. Obviously, plug it in, turn it on. <laughs> That's basically what you're going to get in there. Remove our little edges from the laptop. Foam protector. Nice little cloth uh, cover here. Guess you could keep that if you really wanted to keep it clean. <laughs> All right, here you go. I like the design of it. Again, for the price, um, I think it has a real sleek, cool looking design. I mean, it's obviously not a MacBook or a Asus um, gaming laptop or anything like that. Um, you know, this is plastic. This isn't aluminum or anything like that. Um, but it has a really sleek look and clean design. You're gonna have plenty of ports um, for, the gen for general use. You're gonna have an Ethernet port, um, which this just plug Ethernet in there if you need that. HDMI two USB 3's and then a USB type C which is really nice so good good ports again for a value laptop here on the back you're just gonna have your vents and then over here on the other side um, you got your indicator lights headphone plug and then a standard USB 2 port um, there so that is that and then let's go ahead and open it up remove this piece here Pretty decent trackpad, decent size. Um, you're gonna have a nice being able to click pretty much anywhere pushing on it, except for the very top. Um, but you can push anywhere in this section here for a tactile um, physical click, fingerprint scanner, and things like that. There's that full keyboard I was talking about, which is um, pretty reminiscent of what you get on like a full desktop keyboard. 
Only difference being these arrow keys here, you, know, you get the kind of shortened keys. Uh, if you use arrow keys a lot, that may actually be kind of annoying to you and you may want something with a, a taller keyboard. Um, but like I said, you get the little number pad, that's kind of nice. And then you have your power button all the way over here on the right. Once you get the computer turned on here, one other thing you can see here as well, it has a nice backlit keyboard on it, which is very nice and low light. Um, and again, that's another feature um, I think they just added to this to, to make it a well-rounded, um, great computer, getting Windows set up, um, things like that. Um, this process is going extremely quick because of the specs that it has on it. So there you have it. Nice backlight keyboard, all those different features. Um, one last thing I'll mention on this laptop, um, and actually it reminded me because it comes with these uh, four screws here. This is for the laptop upgrade. So I mentioned earlier it's a 256 gig um, SSD, or but it's an NVMe SSD, which is going to be extremely fast, and it's actually like a, a small little onboard chip in here. Um, not onboard, but it, it's a different chip. So you can actually add your own additional larger SSD or just regular hard drive in here, take off the back. That's why they give you these four screws so that you can attach a second drive in there and expand out your storage. So that to me is a really good point um, that, that I wanted to add in there, that you're getting the, one of the reasons I recommend this is for that drive that's built in here because it's going to really help your performance make it really quick even though some of the other specs are lower that hard that not hard drive that SSD and VME drive is really going to speed things up it's the same type of drive you've got in high-end laptops even things like MacBooks um, that's what they're using to get that fast performance and like I said you can add a second drive in there um, either yourself by pulling this off or taking it in somewhere and having them upgrade it down the road if you needed that storage all right, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Acer Aspire 5. Um, decent value laptop for the price. Uh, if you're interested, again, link's down in the video description. Uh, if you want more videos like these, um, reviews, product reviews, things like that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a like. I appreciate it, and it really helps me out. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next video.